Imagine you painstakingly started your YouTube channel from zero subscribers to 100, then to 1000, and now you got it monetized and you started earning $10, $100, hundreds of dollars, and even thousands of dollars. And all of a sudden, someone hijacked your channel, deleted your videos, and started posting about crypto and Tesla. So lately, the hijacking of YouTubers' account has increased and this is not minding the size of their channel. For example, a subsidiary channel of Think Media with over 100,000 subscribers was hijacked LEDC. And also one of my friend's YouTube channel with over 100,000 subscribers was hacked too and his videos deleted. Some YouTubers have complained about these malicious activities. But the question is what went wrong? So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some common ways these hackers gain access into your account and what you can do to counter them. I came across one of these hackers a few years ago and I will share my experience with you. So I received this email that offered me to promote a product on my channel and they were willing to pay $1,000 for just a one minute mention in my video. I knew this was too good to be true and I suspected foul play because I just had 5,000 subscribers then and I was thinking what attracted my channel to this brand sponsors. And also, they were into gaming business and my channel has nothing to do with gaming. So I played along and replied to them that I was interested. So they sent me an email with a link to download the media key that I will work with. I knew that the file that I'm about to download was a Trojan. A Trojan is an enticing offer that has something malicious hidden inside it. If you're familiar with Greek history, you understand this better and the Trojan word is commonly used in the tech world. So this media kit file that I was about to download is a video file, but inside this was a virus. I never bothered to download and open the file directly on my computer. Rather, I activated the Windows sandbox. If you're using a Windows PC that runs on Windows 10 or later version, there's this inbuilt environment that you can use to activate your computer. You can use it to test or open any file that you suspect to be malicious. Sandbox is like an isolated operating system residing inside your computer. Anything you do within that environment will not affect the host computer. So for example, if you want to browse to a site that you suspect to be malicious, you can activate your Windows Sandbox and then browse to that site and do whatever thing you want to do there and then close the Windows Sandbox and that will not affect your computer. So I opened the Windows Sandbox on my computer to try to download the media file inside it. So immediately I opened the media file, the window sandbox froze and I didn't waste a minute, I closed it. The benefit of using the window sandbox to download and open the virus infected file was that any negative impact it will have would not affect my computer. So everything ends inside the window sandbox. So it is safe to test anything that can harm your computer with the window sandbox. This is if you are using a Windows PC. So I did mean I opened the infected file on my computer. My computer would have been hijacked within seconds. And with the help of AI, the hackers can trace places, IDs and passwords are stored on my computer, including my browser's cookies. There are other ways they can gain access to your user ID and password, like they can send you a link to create an account on a website. And if your password is not strong enough, they can easily guess the password you use on other platforms with the help of AI. So as a YouTuber, whether big or small, you should be mindful of the emails you respond to because most times they lure their victims by sending them emails. So even though if you're not a YouTuber, this recommendation is also helpful. And we have heard of some multinational corporations being defrauded of millions of dollars. It all started with an email conversation. These are some of the steps I will recommend that you take to keep these hackers' activities at bay. First, make sure that you don't use one password to log in on all your accounts. Whether online or offline, make sure that you use different passwords for different platforms. For example, the email password that you are using should be different from your Facebook password, your Instagram password, your Twitter password, or even your Google or YouTube platforms. This is important because if you use one password on all your social media platforms or other platforms that you log into, when a hacker gains access to your password, it can easily use that same password to log into all your accounts. So make sure that you use different passwords 
for different social media platform or different online platforms. So next, make sure that you have a good and up-to-date antivirus on your computer. They might not be the best to protect you from hackers, but they can keep you safe from simple mistakes like browsing into hackers' websites. Also, make sure that your passwords are complex but easy to remember by you. For example, you can use combination of name of places and things there to you and mix them up with special characters and some of the characters in capitals. This might not be the best practice, but it could save you a whole lot. Also, I recommend that you don't save your IDs and passwords in a file on your devices because if the wrong person gets to see it by accident, then your accounts are compromised. A friend of mine who is a career consultant, Daniel Mutuku, shared his experience of how his YouTube channel with over 120,000 subscribers was hijacked. Watch this video where he explained what happened and how it ended. And if you have not joined the waiting list for my upcoming workshop, kindly do so by clicking the first link in the description and also give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and let me know in the comment section if you have been a victim of these hackers on any social media platform and how you dealt with it thanks for watching see you in the next one